Hi, this is James with Thermal Battery Systems. You're looking at a uh, Snyder Dominator Series 1700 gallon cistern tank. We have uh, turned this thing into a thermal battery. So essentially uh, we've got um, a heat exchanger installed inside the tank. Um, and this particular configuration of heat exchanger is two uh, 400 foot coils. It was an 800 foot coil, basically one of these, that we installed in there in two sections. We've got 400 foot of it in the front half of the tank there, and the other 400 foot suspended in the back half of the tank. Um, you can see it hanging up in there. Lower this in. So essentially what we're doing is we're going to be testing the performance differences between that version of a heat exchanger inside the tank and, uh, and these hyperloops that are on top now. Those are what we had, uh, used in there before. And uh, what we're doing is we're just specifically measuring the differences of heat exchange capacity. We've got um, supply return temp sensors there. We've got a six ton heat pump uh, that's able to interact with this that's a um, uh, that's hydraulically separated through a, a hot and cold tank up above and um, that's how we're able to pull heat energy out of the tank so we we basically do this and we data log it and we see that what the differences are uh, the purpose of all of this is to uh, allow a water source heat pump uh, which is often called a ground source heat pump or a geothermal heat pump to be used as a multi-source heat pump. So by incorporating a thermal battery with a water source heat pump, we now have uh, the ability to use any number of different uh, sources of energy, including solar, waste heat, uh, traditional ground loops, uh, air source components, uh, biomass boilers, whatever it is we happen to have. And so, um, this particular component is just the, the piece that makes that opportunity available to make a ground source heat pump as they're traditionally known and turn it into a multi-source heat pump. So this is James with Thermal Battery Systems. Uh, thanks for watching.